Um, right, for those of you who, who don't know, just very briefly, welcome Boulder Dan Adamson. Built in 1903, just over the water at what is now Camelard Shipyard. Um, had a distinguished career, operating up and down the Merseys in the 1920s, to the dock where the new Liverpool Museum is now built on. So in barge between Ellesmere Port and Liverpool and carrying passengers. So she operated like that until 1984, was taken out of service. She was on loan to the Ellesmere Port Boat Museum. Uh, they didn't own her, they couldn't spend money on her, the money got tight. Conditions started to fall pretty badly, I'd say. By 2004, she was the target of vandals uh, and she was in a very, very precarious position. Um, we managed to save her in 2004, we bought the ship famously for a pound. Uh, that was the easy bit. Uh, the last 13 and a half years have been the, uh, the, the sort of the, the, the uphill struggle, if you like. However, with a fantastic band of volunteers, I'm delighted to see so many of them here today. Some of them who go back to 2004 with us, who, who were here in the very, very early days. But it was all about digging the digging the mud and the, the 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 rubbish out of the bilges and getting rid of all the old stuff and trying to record what we had through to where we are now. Uh, without the the volunteers, this is very much a volunteer led operation and without all those volunteers in all the multitude of roles that they've done, whether it be a trustee, whether it be a retired naval architect, whether it be a joiner, whether it be someone who stokes the boiler, that huge range of volunteers, without that this ship would not be here today, there's no two ways about that. The money from the Hotel Lottery Fund, of course, that was fantastic, that cemented it all together, the £3.6 million pounds was, a, was a wonderful um, event for us to be able to secure that funding. But I say, without the volunteers in place, just be able to prove to the Hotel Lottery Fund that we can run the ship standing alone with, with, with very, very few staff, but with mainly with volunteers was, was, was a difficult thing to prove, but we did prove it and we proved we can do that. So here we are today, we've just finished our first season, this is our year one coming to an end if you like. We're in steam today, we're about to move like ship through to our berth at Sandon Dock where we have our workshops. We haven't got a lot of time left, there's been a lot of work on the last six weeks while we've been laid up here. Um, so it's quite a busy programme between now and the sort of last week in March, which is Easter. Um, and you know this is the sort of the, the never-ending conveyor belt of keeping an historic ship up and running. But it's been a lovely, really nice um, way of sitting the season off with this wonderful award today. And I'm delighted that Gareth uh, Jones from the Institute of uh, Mechanical Engineers is with us today. Um, and I'll pass over to Gareth to say a few words about the award and, and, and what this means. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers and the Heritage Award Scheme, it was set up about 33 years ago now and uh, been very successful. I'm pleased to know that the Daniel Adamson is the 114th one that we've actually awarded. Very proud as the Institution of Mechanical Engineers to bring Daniel Adamson into, uh, to, in, in, into the club of the Heritage Awards. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's a huge honour for us, as I say. It's been, it's been a, a really interesting year, I think that's the, the term to use for us. Um, very proud of, of, of the fact that we've managed to undertake all the cruises we want to undertake this year. But I think the, the quality of the restoration, thanks to Cavalairs for all the work they did, um, she was in over at Cavalairs shipyard for nearly 12 months, and all the work that our volunteers did, certainly mechanically in the engine room with all the steam engines that were overhauled internally. The fact that the reliability of the vessel was second to none this year. Um, we had very, very few what I call technical problems. You know, the, the vessel, the 1903 technology, uh, has, has operated faultlessly. So to be able to get an award like this that recognises the vessel as an engineering asset to the UK um, and something which is unique and, and, and is preserved and will be preserved going forwards, I say it's, it's a massive, um, I think, doff of the cap from the Institute to our volunteers to Camelairs and to everybody else who's been involved in the, in the project over the, over the last 13 and a half years. So we're, we're delighted to receive this award, absolutely delighted. So without further ado, I'll present the plaque to Dan. Um, from the, for those of you who can't read it, it says the last uh, Engineering Heritage Award to Daniel Adamson, the last operational coal-fired tender in the UK. Launched from Birkenhead in 1903, the Danny spent the next 80 years working on the Mersey and the Manchester ship team. The two Liverpool-built steam engines and twig screws gave high maneuverability and power needed for work on the last 18 